What's going on guys? It's your boy Vega and today we're going to be talking about the Nike Vomero 5 in the Mystic Navy and Warm Blue colorway and right off the bat, right off the grip, I want to say that I typically do not go for these type of blue tone colorways but there was something about this colorway that just worked very very well with the Vomero 5s and they are still sitting at Nike so if you want it and if you like my review and you want to go get it you could definitely have a good opportunity right there but I'm gonna go over sizing I'm gonna go over my personal thoughts and at the end let you know whether it's a good idea to cop or not from my perspective of course also stay tuned till later on in the video I'm gonna go over the giveaway that I'm doing right now there's only one week to enter and it's a pretty good giveaway so do not miss out last but not least if you see me sipping on this do not mind me your boy is a little tired so i needed some starbucks in my life so there you have it with that out of the way let's get right into the video all right guys let's get right into this review and as you can see i have the sneakers right here with no box i'm not gonna go over sneaker boxes on my reviews unless it's a special packaging it's a special box etc so that's that but as far as the sneaker it's very very special kind of reminds me a little bit of a unc colorway but like one or two shades darker which in my opinion that's good for me at least because it's not like a super loud cutaway but i'm gonna add my two cents later on on that now as far as the sneaker let's take a quick look at the sneaker right here and as you can see we have a bunch of technology a bunch of colors a bunch of panels that might seem like a lot on paper but when you look at the sneaker it comes together very well now let's start with the technology aspect of the sneaker and that is in the midsole portion which has nike zoom in the top portion cushion towards the front and also at the bottom of the sneaker it has duralon technology all of this makes the sneaker very comfy but is it too cushiony that is something that i'm going to go over later on the front of the sneaker has mesh it has a rubber type of material a uh, little reflective hints right there as well now let's move towards the middle of the sneaker we have a nike swoosh a panel in the back as well more reflective uh, materials right there and then in the back of the sneaker we have a hexagon type of cage that gives you a little bit more structure in the back portion of the sneaker towards the back of the sneaker we have another little nike swoosh right there wrapping itself around of that case that i just talked about more 3m hints right there and right there as well and as far as the rest of the inside of the sneaker looks just like the outer part now let's take a quick look at the tongue section right here we have a nike bomero 5 label with both the mystic navy and warm blue color combo white laces to keep it clean and then that 3m hint in the middle section right there very very clean sneaker this is also one of those sneakers that i highly encourage you to try different laces i think that you can make it more of your own i'm gonna try the orange laces and kind of give it that off-white jordan 1 unc colorway combo just because i feel the blue and the orange will look very clean maybe you want to try yellow laces maybe you are a warriors fan i don't know but over here we only wrap lakers gang and lakers are gonna take the ship i'm just gonna say that maybe that's a conversation for a different video but yeah lakers game six or seven versus miami heat just saying right now all right so as far as the cushioning and the technology in the sneaker that i was mentioning uh earlier they are not too cushioning i feel that they are perfect if you are going to wear them for long periods of time if you are a runner etc but if you want more support if you are getting over uh, an injury maybe look towards the new balance 2002r i actually talked about that very uh thoroughly in my nike vomero 5 uh, review that i did uh i want to say a month ago so go ahead and check that out probably put a link in the description down below or little link right there but yeah try that as well and as far as the sizing let's go over that right now all right guys let's go ahead and go over sizing really quick which is a very important question for this sneaker model a lot of people ask should i just go up half a size in this sneaker model or should i just go true size i'm going to give you sizing recommendations for different type of sneakers that i wear just in case you are new to the nike vomero 5s you at least can you know can make a better feel of what size you should get so i got a true size 10 and a half on my vomero 5s i'm also a 10 and a half on my air max ones i'm also a 10 and a half on air max 90s jordan 4s 
a New Balance 2002R. So you kind of get the point. Now, do I have a little bit of more room in some of those models? Just a little bit, but I want to say that I am really more of a true to size. I will get a size 11 on some other sneaker models that I'm not going to even bring into the mix because you'll just get confused. But they are very comfy. I feel that if you get a true to size, it's going to be um pretty fitted for the most part you're gonna have maybe a little bit of room in the toe section right there in the big toe at least but you don't necessarily want to go down half a size because then they're going to be even more snug right here even if you are a wide footer i would still recommend that you go true to size all right guys so let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway really quick in my last video i announced that kinetic kings and i are doing a giveaway all you have to do is the following it's fairly easy subscribe to my channel number two follow me and instagram at carlos vega 101 number three follow kinetic kings ig and number four go ahead and comment in this video giveaway kinetic kings will contact you directly they'll ask you for your size and they'll go ahead and give you the shorts of your choice so just so you know what you're getting yourself into when it comes down to kinetic kings it's kind of that eric emmanuel type of vibe but at a lower cost and still giving you that good quality so when it comes down to their fundamental shorts for example it's more of that you know standard type of mesh shorts but they have a bunch of styles and a bunch of colors just in case that's what you're into but if you're into more that kind of a better quality kind of like mitchell and ness but still fit above the knee and it still kind of gives you that eric emmanuel vibe look at the active shorts those do tend to sell out a little bit quicker and they don't do as many styles as the fundamental shorts but that's pretty much it when it comes down to kinetic kings thank you to all the subscribers thank you kinetic kings for sponsoring this video let's go back to the video so final thoughts on the sneaker whether you should cop or not me personally of course i got them but i would say that you should cop it's one of those colorways that it's very different than the rest so if you're like me that you don't necessarily want to fill your closet with a bunch of Vomero 5s if you already have 2002 R's then I probably would say you know what let's go ahead and go forward with the Vomero 5s in certain colors this one caught my attention I think the Vomero 5 in the gray colorway that I got first is kind of like a staple to start with or at least in my opinion just because it kind of goes with everything and then explore into different colors another color that I like is that yellow as well but this one is something that I wanted to get just because I already have other yellow sneakers that I would choose over the Vomero 5. So for me, this is definitely very different, very clean, it's very comfy. I think that, like I said before, if you play with the laces, you can make the sneaker more your own and then you can actually match it with other uh, outfits a little bit better as well. Either way, you really cannot go wrong with this sneaker. So I'm going to say it's a cop. Yo lifesaver my guy lifesaver that's pretty much it for today's video hope you found it informative and entertaining again do not forget to go ahead and enter the giveaway it's a very good giveaway it's pretty much the way of me saying thank you for liking my videos thank you for watching my videos thank you for sharing my videos etc so do not miss out on this opportunity if you made it all the way through you are the real mvp and i'm gonna try to see if i can trick people so if you watch all the way through and you want the Vomero 5, go ahead and comment Mystic Navy, all right? And if you really rock with your boy, go ahead and comment Worn Blue. That will really let me know that you watch all the way through, that you really rock with your boy. And it's kind of like, let's really catch the people who are not really watching the video and just commenting the same as the one up top, etc., etc. If you haven't done it by now, go ahead and hit subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also hit that bell that way you get notified every single time i drop a video also if you're not doing so follow me on instagram at carlos vega 101 i'm always dropping the date and time on my videos and it's just a good little way of keeping up with me as well with that being said thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one peace